you go down there. Babadiana. So this portal thing is just a prototype uh, for a table base to convince the client that there's enough space to comfortably sit and that it's stable enough to hold the table. But anyhow, since I got the approval, I have to build this, this thing out of uh, steel. So as you can see, this is a pretty simple structure and it will get even simpler because I will exclude these uh, straight up pieces. So for the legs, I will use this uh, 40 by 80 steel tubing and I live in Europe, so it's, everything is in metric. And for the uh, top ring, I will weld it out of this uh, steel bar and it's 40 by 10. So there's not much more to explain about this build.
I almost infinitely looped the whole video. Well, anyhow, the steel base is prepared. I will bring it to be to get the powder coated soon enough. And I have this lovely countertop. I found it on IKEA. It has some uh, uh, lovely branches, rustic appearance. It's very thick and sturdy. Well, actually, I'm lying. I built it. Well, I guess uh, I should fix myself. So while I, I'll be doing that, uh, you can watch how I build this one.
So, I already made two mistakes up to this point. I poorly sanded the top. I noticed two ugly spots over here and over that corner. So I will have to resand it, but that's not uh, big of a deal because it's only a stain at this point, so uh, this should be an easy fix. And the second mistake I made was with a steel base. So my initial idea was to use this type of uh, adjustable feet, but somehow I welded the threaded uh, part too far into the tubing. And this type of feet can be adjusted uh, only up to 5 millimeters, which may be enough, but uh, I promised the client that this, uh, the adjustability will be up to 12 or 15 millimeters, so I have to dump this idea. So today I bought uh, four of these, and as you can see, they, they are a bit longer already, and they have a full thread, which, is, which will be important at this point, because my idea is to stack a few, a few layers of uh, leather and to build up the thickness of the pad, so all the adjustability would be on the threaded part, if that makes any sense. And for the punch, I found this, uh, actually I built this a while ago. This is a car's brake pad uh, cylinder. It has a perfect size and it has a perfect seal. So don't throw all car parts away. They usually have very good quality steel, very well machined. So this can be useful. So, I already brought back the metal parts from the painting facilities. They are looking smooth and crisp. I fixed the issues with the tabletop, so it's time to spray some lacquer on it. Luckily, my colleague uh, is away from his workshop and he let me use his uh, painting booth, so let's go there.
I guess I can call this table done. I haven't gone into much details about the leg installment because I think I couldn't do a better job than Cameron from Blacktail Studio did. So if you're interested, check his video. Anyhow, I'm really loving this tabletop. It's just the style I love. It has a lot of deep, rich our character. Yeah, just, just gorgeous. But I couldn't say the same about the legs. I mean, I love the design. It looks uh, great with the tabletop, but I made a mistake. As you can see, it has some uh, twist and shake in it. I believe that's because uh, I made the uh, frame out of uh, steel bar instead of steel tubing. Well, but that's my problem. Enjoy the beauty shots while I'll be fixing it. And thank you for watching my stuff. See you in a week. Bye bye.